Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome back here <coughs> for another day of astrology and daily wisdom, uh, what the energy will be. Uh, welcome, welcome to the new subscribers. And uh, what should we begin with? Uh, a lot of going on, you maybe feel like a certain restriction goes on, certain restrictions though, still is on it, uh, but uh, the desire you to keep moving forward, it still is on because life goes on. And if you're following your life path, you're gonna feel the strength and the power to overcome everything because it's your life. You have to walk into the journey. The only thing you're stopping into the journey is when are you doing what? When a thing doesn't go right on the base of what? Of your own self or your own shadow or self-sabotage or some things that you kind of creating your own hell. So uh, as the transitions of the moon is going to be coming in today, for those who's only listening the first five minutes of the report, um, that today is going to be interesting day for a reason is that it's going to be interesting because finally within your intuition is going to come in this uh, great uh, power of intuition within yourself of healing what it needs to be healed and reconnecting of what's stopping you to grow. Uh, that is going to be one of the moon. It's going to be actually training uh, Jupiter who is retrograde in Taurus. You're going to be seeking at the way of fixing the material world, but the fixing the material world, it's coming in for what? For knowing what you're doing. What are you doing? Are you making up your own mind? Because if you have unhealed issues, they're going to be triggered. And they're going to be triggered from what? They're going to be triggering from your intuitions and currently that uh, the sun, which is your authority within yourself, uh, together with the warrior within you and Mercury, who is responsible of what you're doing with your hands and what do you talk, okay? So talking about all this, uh, this uh, oppositions towards Saturn, which is the moon will do in a mid heaven early in the morning, it may is going to be put some stress out, but uh, Pluto, who is a uh, direct right now, is like your transformations is moving forward your ability to change is up to you your inform your transformations your evolutions is up to you right now that transformations is powerful it's back on there is no restrictions but who is restricting you something within your mind something within your consciousness and you're seeking deeply within yourself what do you need to do so without being said i'm gonna be bringing up the chart for you here and uh, we are gonna go through it uh, as we go. Here is so. Here is it. Uh, you see it in your chart. Uh, what's going on in the morning? This is uh, about seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, by the way, I I put it at uh, the Greenwich, which is, is uh, basically the general energy at zero o'clock there. And uh, this is so uh, what uh, it's coming as you see it, uh, the green lights right here, uh, the moon and uh, Lilith is together. They are opposing Saturn, but uh, the moon sense is going to be moving forward. She is training Jupiter. Later on, she's going to be sextiling the sun, which is she's going to reach to authorities like, you know what? I see what it's in healed of me and I need to heal it within me. So your authority is going to be doing the things and is. This is acceptance of your personal authority, working with authorities within others by seeing what it is within your shadow. Why? Because the sun, it is at Scorpio and it's opposing Uranus still. It's like, you know what? I got to see this. But that all it lies with the authority within yourself. So uh, talking about the next hour, as you see it, the shadow comes out on the surface, which is the sun is rising together with Mars. Mid heaven is at uh, mid Virgo. It's telling you here is the times are coming. The good times are coming. The situations are are pretty well. They are coming in uh, within the intuitions, which is the feminine energies uh, right there. It's going to be going through. And this is a giving you a glimpse of this. Take it easy. 
go on with the, what you need to do, go on, fix this. There is a synchronization energies that are helping you to overcome all this. As you see it at the blue line, which is that's the synchronized aspects into the astrology, they're going to be working. What are you going to synchronize though? Okay, you're going to synchronize uh, Virgo, you're going to be synchronizing with Taurus, you're going to be synchronizing with Capricorn. Venus is still, still doing its work. The power of love in there. I mean, Venus is in the last degree pretty much with an... Uh, She's at 28 minutes, 51, uh, 28 minutes, 51 seconds with in Virgo. She's preparing to go into Libra. Some of you is going to be preparing to go into a relationship after you heal things that you need to heal inside of you. Venus is removing all the restrictions that are together with Saturn. They are working on team to go ahead and look at this transformations that needs to be done. The power with mercury the power of communications and what you're doing and all that works with neptune in there but they're all connecting with neptune who is your internal visions inside of it with uranus so you see there is always an exit but are you going to see the green light exit light that venus is going to give it to you that is all entirely of course lying in your power with you so talking about this power in the next hour is going to be even more intense as you see it on your screen, that green line uh, right there with uh, Venus entering Libra. If you remember it, uh, I was talking to you when uh, Mars and the Sun, they all came in there and that was those beautiful divine energies. Who is right now there though? It's the feminine energy. It is about you to now you worked on your masculine energies now you're working your feminine energies inside of you but now you see this power of love because you combine it of what you need to be done is the same thing mars was leading the way back then okay we are talking about a month and a half ago uh in there we're talking about around uh, 12 october 6 7 8 and 9 you had that power <coughs> and the glimpses that you're going to get through this, to that hour, which is nine o'clock in the morning, they're going to be powerful. Seek it because every day it's a new opportunity you to get better. And talking about opportunities, the opportunities it's coming, they represent itself uh, in there. If you look at it, mid heaven and Libra, where is all the contracts? What do you mean contracts, Dio? Oh, uh, that's what I mean. You have political contracts, you have a business contracts, you have a relationships of contracts, you have a spiritual contracts, you have a contract with the universe, you have a contract with the void, contracts with everything. That's what they are. Balance. Balance in the force, balance between the good and the bad, balance between what you accept and what you don't. But the truth remains one. And this is the house of the truth. It's Libra. That's how it goes. Okay. And uh, looking at them, those energies, you're going to feel like the right things. Who is in control? Take a look at the yacht a little bit uh, for a change. The ascendant, which is Sagittarius, it's got a divine energies with Uranus and uh, Jupiter right here. But that yacht from mid heaven, it's pointing out to the Uranus, your existence in the universe, it's leading you to this balance. But at the same time, you have that mid heaven power that comes in from Neptune and Uranus that points out the directions of what you need to do. You're going to get reminders about the divine energies inside of you. You know, there was a, this funny quote uh, today that uh, you don't have to be on the uh, airplane turbulence so you can believe in God if you guys know what I'm talking about so uh, talking about this you don't want these reminders but look inside of you everything is there of course you're gonna be challenged you're gonna be have this uh, challenges of oh but what about this what about that I have to be famous I have to be this I have to be that and uh, um, okay 
there is a difference between you have unhealthy boundaries and there is a difference between what it's your ego is doing. Most of the Sagittarius people, they know exactly what I'm talking about here. They're working, they're working hard, they're working so powerful, they're so on, uh, you know, they're getting into a certain level and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I am like this, I'm like this, you have no rights to talk to me and I have no rights to do this, you know, nah, 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 nah. boom. They don't see that the people point out in the area of concerns they need to grow. And uh, look at it inside of you this hour. Be mindful of if people comes in and they're giving you a hard time. They're coming in for a purpose, to show you what you need to grow. But it's the same times uh, inside of it. Don't allow the people to make you small. Because during those intense energies, some people, they love to make other people small so they can feel better. Make the difference within this about it. Especially at work. So, uh, talking about the next hour, you know, uh, yeah, focus within Mars. Uh, what is your actions will be? You feel these actions, you feel these suppositions, but do you pay attention that currently the Ascendant is in Capricorn and makes that beautiful flight with uh, um, Mercury in there? There is a Mars involved with the Ascendant, the synchronizations in there. And you're like, I'm finally getting at that. I have challenges, but not problems. I look at a deep inside of me and I always thinking that the challenges were problems. Now when I understand that, that the problems that come in my life are challenges for growth, now I understand I don't have problems. I just have challenges. And uh, this is going to be one of the power of the Scorpio that it comes in from underneath, uh, from underneath the surface. So that is it, the energy that comes in. You're going to feel that energy of the masculine rising. The masculine rising. Why? Uh, Mars is already crossing that uh, threshold of the 18 degrees of uh, Scorpio. Mercury, which is what you're telling yourself, is in the 25th degrees. He's like, uh, I had enough of talking about the Scorpio situations. And personally, I had enough of talking about Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo situations. But uh, it is what it is. That's how it goes. That's what it is. Uh, we're going to be talking about this Taurus until Uranus get out of there. It's going to be in about a few years. So uh, get ready because of uh, in about... Uh, hmm talking about like in a, quite a few years we are going to have something else in Taurus and uh, you're going to find out who but for right now all you need to worry about is the current energies don't look at it too much forward so uh talking about uh, the next hour at which is at one o'clock mid heaven goes in there at uh, Satch you're going to find these powers that it comes in between Pluto uh, between this beautiful uh, Earth signs trying that Venus is uh, working on it. But Saturn is like careful with the visions inside of you. Don't get lost in your visions. Saturn is like, yeah, I give you the love, but be careful how I use that love. This is why you have to look of your expressions and how you're taking what is bad. Because there's going to be a synchronized energies, which is this blue lines here which is creating a kite uh, together from the Uranus, which is some of you is going to be taking the flight. But be mindful about these energies of how you taking things, especially if you're a Scorpio, are you taking things personally? Be mindful what you have there on those degrees of Scorpio, which is the last degree. All right, so talking about uh, 2 o'clock uh, in the afternoon, uh, Mid cabin it goes into a satch. You want to talk. Talk about the spiritual restrictions, talking about of what do you have not seen from before, talking about what uh, it is going on. The moon also begin to make the sextile with the sun. And now it is a let's have a talk. Let's fix all this. Let's fix these situations. Let's uh, look at this parts inside of us of what we are getting stopped so uh talking about all this uh, energies the rising energies are as aquarius and as you see at this virgo aquarius uh, situations as divine energies 
are connecting with sanity and even increasing more the rising energies of teaching you on that love to you it's coming you're going to be seeing it in your horizon because that is what keep everything in its place the balance and the inner peace within uh, you're gonna get changed uh, you know you're gonna be tested on that uh, inner peace you know mid heaven is in the beginning of uh, capricorn careful what you have in there the first degree of capricorn because right now you are challenged uh, with this and uh, this is one of those rare squares which is, is uh, the end of virgo beginning of capricorn that is a one of the things will shift the things will uh, shake up uh, within this and uh, if you have something in there what is it shifting what is your things that they are shift so much and things will shifting like it or not if you are doing your inner work if you're doing your situations you see this uh, positive synchronizations uh, energies they're gonna be flowing you're getting to work you will decide the point of work the work's coming Pluto it's coming the things between uh, Capricorn and uh, Scorpio they are very synchronized you see the work that you have to do within the shadow ascendant who is rising on Taurus it says like here that is it the things that you need to do to fix all this the moon senses in the 10 degrees of uh, virgo it is right now get that analytic mind you to do internal revaluations re within yourself but not being in the clouds but being on the ground what actually happens there so uh talking about all this you see it the energy is moving Pluto is in charge right now. Mid heaven is together with Pluto. These big blue lines uh, together with Venus and the Ascendant and Gemini. Power, power is being given. You all get support. Question is, is are you able to get the support that you need? Sometimes the support is you. Nobody is responsible for your personal growth. But we're talking about if you need a support don't be afraid to ask because the support is given okay and uh talking about the rising energies uh they are going to be able to comes in it says like here looking in that shadow saturn it's coming working with venus and that divine energies meet heaven there it's in aquarius taking the new ways uh, speaking of which i'm gonna be making a video about the new ways pretty soon uh talking about this aquarius energies a lot because the the point of aquarius is uh, something very deep that it's coming it is about the power of you to recreate you to become the creator okay uh, pay attention to the word recycle we are getting to a new cycle, but we are recycling the experience of Pisces. So talking about uh, whatever you have in Aquarius, thinking about that you have to become recreation, recreator, co-creator. and uh talking about those uh, energies of uh, mid heaven towards uh, venus is the power of the love it's gonna get there the ascendant is getting divine energies with pluto about the family as you see it uh, right here those energies between uh, uranus and everything that goes in scorpio is still active like uh, restrictions and this is gonna be for a lot of the people to learn that uh, they cannot pass the threshold until they don't clear the shadow from within can enter paradise if he's still holding to the hell in you and so he is going to be learning on that positions but we are here on earth dealing with what we have to do and talking about later on at eight o'clock if you do your inner work you see it you see in your chart this 
blue powerful energies that comes in from Scorpio okay that is in the fifth house just uh, be mindful about it the fifth house is a growth but also the fifth house represents kids so if you have personal challenges within yourself don't bring it up to your kids okay but mature take them mature and teach your kids of maturity not of passing your problems to the kids or asking your kids how you to solve your problems so uh talking about next uh hour which is going to be at 9 p.m you see a that ascendant that rising kit um, at uh, cancer beautiful divine energies with saturn but also the everything that you do it is about family the family values maybe if you have uh, in the previous hour you had the conversations with kids with wife with spouse or you had that uh, masculine talks in there what did you do what did you empower if you empower your kids and you got this relationship with your kids the best as you can congratulations you did the right thing you overcome your shadow not to pass your wounds into the next generation but you also inspire them to look at them and they can begin to mature on their own okay and that is going to have a huge huge value not only for the next generations but currently in the family energy as you see the ascendant right in here how powerful that energy is and since saturn is connect with this you learn the lesson don't pass trauma and drama to the next generation and talking about the next hour which is uh, 10 o'clock uh, you see the divine it's coming is like congratulations you healed you see the mid heaven is together with chiron the wounded healer you don't pass your wounds to the healer but don't uh, be this uh, wounded empath that's talking about pains heal the pains and give the medicine to others that is your power of you to become the healer the difference between the wounded healer and the healer understanding that difference okay so now talking about this uh, the moon and uh, jupiter that's energy is beginning stronger it's been stronger but the energy between the, the moon and the sun it's keeping rising uh the moon it's at 13 degrees of uh, virgo the sun is at uh, 15 degrees and that is a one of the time is that the intuition and authority they are going to be healing the spirit within them and in a personal level that healing the spirit within you is going to be very powerful if you do that but you do for yourself you're actually doing for everybody else as an example guys and that is a, a one of the greatest thing you can do be mindful because the ascendant is at leo it's gonna be trigger that growth but the divine energy is here they are gonna be working some of you may be experiencing the divine fights internal fights within yourself and uh, talking about 11 o'clock the ascendant is gonna be at leo that's gonna be putting this what is the universe wants from me why the universe doesn't cooperate with my authority i ask the universe what to give it to me do you have the intuitions in you do you have the divine within you because mid heaven is right there very close it's at four degrees in taurus right up in here and you see it, the divine energies between mercury and uh, venus and venus connecting with saturn is about the love teaching you but as you pay attention of these challenges here with uranus are you getting together are you getting along first of all within you as our authority and intuition and second of all with the authority and the intuitions with your partner with your friends with your family and everyone around you that is going to be a trigger but also that is going to be the one of the greatest growth that you can do for yourself so that's what it was the astro gravitational report guys thank you so much for watching if you have any comments you can post it below if you need a personal reading you can
can connect me my email is down below and i appreciate for watching and come back tomorrow for another astro gravitational report guys hopefully this report helping your life be loved